This is a guide to help you get started on fishing as well as some extra tips that will help you improve your fishing skills. To start off, you get a makeshift fishing rod in the mail on your first day in Palea. The mail is sent by Anar, who will be the fishing NPC for the game and he is generally found at the fishing docks. To start fishing, find a body of water and then hold the left click button to cast a line. Let go when you see it hit the spot that you want your hook to land at. Now you have to wait for a fish to be attracted to the hook. You'll hear about three small splashes with your bobber moving, and then there will be a louder sound indicating that a fish has been hooked. Now you hold down left click while reeling in. A minigame will start here for you to be able to cast a fish. There will be a reticle that shows up and you must keep the bobber within the reticle by moving your mouse left and right or else the fish will not be reeled in and it will escape. The reticle is green when the bobber is within the zone and turns red when it is not. The bar on the bottom shows a reeling progress and if it reaches zero, the fish will escape. If the bar is full by the time you catch the fish, it will count as a perfect catch. Once you reel in the fish close enough, it will automatically catch the fish for you. Some of the more difficult fish will jump out of the water and then when that happens, you want to stop holding left click and stop reeling, but still keep the reticle on the bobber. Wait until the fish has jumped back down into the water to begin reeling again. If you reel while the fish is jumping, you will lose progress and the fish will escape. My number one tip with this one is to keep the reticle on the bobber, not the on the fish itself. My first two tries getting one of the difficult fish, I was putting my reticle where the fish was, which was making me lose progress and letting the fish escape. This is because the game counts your bobber as a spot where you're supposed to reel in at. And sometimes the fish animation, especially the jumping one, causes it to look far off from the actual spot your fishing rod is in. That is probably the biggest tip I can give you because at least for me, once I started putting the reticle on the bobber instead of the fish, it made it a lot easier and I got a lot more fish caught. So I noticed that a lot of people didn't realize this as well. So that's why I thought this was a really important tip to share with you guys. So make sure to follow your bobber with your reticle, not where the fish appears to be. Also be aware of fishing bubbles that you find in the water as they will guarantee you catch a star quality fish. Now for fishing upgrades. Talking to Anar, you will notice that like other skills, there are different upgrades you can get as you level up in fishing. You can get new fishing rod recipes which will help you move the reticle faster when reeling in. You can also buy the worm farm which you put food items in and it will produce worms for bait as well as fertilizer for crops. There is also the glowworm farm which is a new kind of bait used to catch specific fish. The fishing attachments can help you loot the fishing attachments can help you with losing less durability on your fishing rod as they add a health boost to it. Inar also has a recipe for fisherman's brew which increases the size of your reticle for a short amount of time. There's also the tuning fork which helps you track rare fish for 15 minutes. To equip worms, you must first equip your fishing rod from the tools by pressing R and then right click and you can choose whether to use just the standard hook itself or add worms for bait. Fish appear in different types of bodies of water and are also dependent on the bait used. Fish can appear in rivers, lakes, ponds, and by the coast. Some fish will only appear at certain times of day such as dawn, dusk, nighttime, and some fish are available all day long. Different fish require different bait as some will appear when you use no bait, some will appear only when using worms, and some appear only when using glowworms. Some fish are harder to come by and it will be upon your luck and RNG in order to get one to bite. If you need help with finding out which fish appear in which waters and what time and which bait is needed, the Paleo Wiki has updated information on those. I'll go ahead and link that below in the description for everyone. Here is another very important tip for fishing that can help you save bait as well as time by not reeling in fish that you don't want. When you hear the loud sound notification of a fish appearing and being hooked, you can visibly see which fish you just hooked. If it ends up being a fish you do not want, you can stop and do nothing and let the fish leave. You must then withdraw and then recast your line after this to get a different type of fish. This way you're not spending all of your bait getting fish you don't want. This one's really important in my opinion just because I've seen a lot of people say they use a ton of bait to get a certain fish they wanted and they kept catching all these kinds of fish that they weren't looking for and they didn't know that you don't have to actually use that bait if you end up getting a fish on your hook that you didn't even want in the first place. 
so I do think it is a really good tip to know. This also works with fish items and recipes. Without spoiling, there's basically a bunch of recipes that you can fish out of the water and that way you don't have to spend bait just getting fish after fish and not getting the recipe or item that you're waiting on. And that concludes the fishing guide. This should help you get through basically all of your fishing and get you any fish that you need. And I hope it helped everyone and thank you for watching.